Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. U.S. takes climate lead at COP28 with methane rule and $3 billion pledge. Alaska Air acquires Hawaiian Airlines and Mega Deal, Amazon's potential growth predicted by Oppenheimer, earnings week preview, spotlight on DocuSign, Neo, Broadcom, and GameStop. Medical sector buzz, Piper foresees GLP-1's boosting knee, hip surgeries demand. Biotech industry celebrates record gains in November while William Hill owner 888 turns down Playtech's 700 million pound offer. Stay tuned after the short ad break to delve deeper into these headlines. At the 28th Conference of Parties, or COP28, Climate Summit, an announcement was made by the Biden administration. They introduced a methane rule for United States oil and gas producers. This rule aims to reduce leaks and ban routine flaring. In addition to this, the United States pledged $3 billion to a United Nations fund. This fund is designed to aid developing countries in reducing their greenhouse emissions. In attendance at the summit was ExxonMobil's CEO, who advocated for diverse solutions in global energy transition. On another note, crude oil prices have seen a decrease for six consecutive weeks due to skepticism over OPEC Plus's production cuts. On the positive side of things, top gainers included Fluence Energy and Plug Power. However, not all saw gains as net power and Atlas Lithium experience declines. Alaska Air has entered into an agreement to purchase Hawaiian Airlines at a rate of $18 per share. This transaction is estimated to be worth around $1.9 billion, debt included. The merger is anticipated to enhance competition and expand options for consumers on the U.S. West Coast as well as in Hawaii. It's projected that earnings will grow in the high single digits within a span of two years, with a return on investment reaching mid-teens by the third year. Amazon has surpassed a market capitalization of $1.5 trillion thanks to advancements in artificial intelligence and the growth of its cloud division, Amazon Web Services, or AWS. Despite a 70% surge in stock value this year, Oppenheimer continues to favor Amazon as its top large-cap selection for the year 2024. The firm anticipates an increase in profit margins for both e-commerce and AWS due to cost reduction strategies and efficient delivery networks. This year's Cyber Week was the most successful so far, suggesting potential for ongoing growth. This week, we anticipate quarterly results from several major companies. These include Neo, GameStop, DocuSign, ChargePoint, and Dollar General. The earnings releases will have an impact on a variety of sectors such as energy, software, and retail. GitLab's Q3 results are due today with Neo set to release its Q3 earnings tomorrow. GameStop has scheduled its Q3 earnings for Wednesday while DocuSign and Broadcom plan to share theirs on Thursday. Wrapping up the week will be Hello Group with their Q3 earnings announcement slated for Friday. Piper Sandler has forecasted average outcomes from Novo Nordisk's Phase 3 trial of the weight loss medication, semaglutide, for osteoarthritis treatment. The bank does not predict a decline in knee replacement surgeries despite potential pain alleviation, as existing damage is irreversible with the drug. However, it does foresee an uptick in demand for joint replacements due to more patients qualifying for surgery following weight loss. Piper Sandler also projects that companies such as Stryker and Zimmer Biomet will profit from this trend. In the month of November, stocks in the biotechnology sector experienced a significant rise, with companies specializing in gene therapy at the forefront. The SPDR S&P Biotech ETF, which encompasses over 130 biotech stocks, saw an increase of approximately 14%, surpassing performance within the wider healthcare industry. Although there are concerns about a challenging future due to potential changes in interest rates, experts are forecasting a more prosperous 2024 for biotechnology firms. This optimism is fueled by an improving macroeconomic environment and renewed enthusiasm from investors. It's worth noting that pharmaceutical powerhouses are showing increased interest in mergers and acquisitions within the sector. 888 Holdings, the owner of William Hill, turned down a takeover bid worth £700 million from Playtech, a gambling tech provider, during this past summer. 
Following this decision, the value of 888 has fallen to slightly above 300 million pounds. Despite showing interest from other firms such as DraftKings and potential restructuring plans on the horizon, 888 is determined to maintain its independence. This decision is supported by its leading shareholders and a solid debt package that extends until the year 2027. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. Until next time, keep investing in your financial knowledge. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Farewell until tomorrow. Have a good one wherever you are. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.